Along with all the great features in Sublime Text 4, there are a ton of new performance enhancements as well across the board. Now, one of the systems in Sublime Text that has been greatly enhanced is the Syntax Highlighting Engine, which is now faster and better and more capable than it has ever been in the history of Sublime Text. That said, you could potentially run into problems with Syntax Highlighting if you happen to be editing very large files. And today, we're going to cover why that's the case and how you can fix it. So, stay tuned. <music> Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odan here, and welcome to this week's video on syntax highlighting in Sublime Text 4 in large files. Now, as I stated in the introduction to this video, there's been a lot of performance enhancements to Sublime Text along with the features that have been added. And one of the things that have been enhanced is the syntax highlighting engine, which is now faster and better than it's ever been. That said, there are problems that you could encounter with this if you happen to be using very large files because in Sublime Text 3, syntax highlighting would always be applied to files, whereas in Sublime Text 4, it won't be applied to files over a certain size threshold. And the reason for that is performance related, as we'll see in just a moment. However, should you be using Sublime Text 4 and working with large files, today we're going to tell you a very simple way to get around this restriction, if you will, and continue working. It's important to point out at this juncture that the thing that we're about to talk about here is a performance enhancement to make sure that Sublime Text remains as fast and as responsive as possible. However, Sublime HQ does recognize that some developers work with large files and they would rather have the degraded performance. So work is already under progress to make a setting that controls the threshold by which this feature triggers so that you can adjust it yourself, which will make the solution that we're about to see in just a moment not strictly necessary. So depending on when you're watching this, you may not need the solution in this video at all. You could just look in the default preferences and see if there's a setting there that is associated. When that happens, I'll edit the description of this video. So check on down in there and you can see if that's happened yet. The performance enhancement that we're referring to here relates to syntax highlighting for files as they're originally being opened. Because you can imagine that when a file is opened, a couple of things have to happen. First, the content of the file needs to be loaded from disk into memory. And secondly, the content of the file needs to be analyzed in order to determine how it should actually be displayed, what parts are what color. And the larger the size of the file, the longer it takes to load it into memory, and then the longer it takes to analyze the content of the file. The developers of Sublime Text want to make sure that you have the content of your file at your fingertips as fast as possible and they also want to make sure things look as good as possible. So for that reason in Sublime Text when files are loaded the syntax highlighting is calculated before the very first display and that can run us into a particular situation. Let's take a look at an example here and what we have here is the last build of Sublime Text 3 and I'm going to open up a file that is 23 megabytes in size. This is some NASA information. There's a link to it down in the description if you're interested in that sort of thing. And we'll see that when we open the file, it takes a non, not appreciable amount of time. There's a file loading bar, and only when the file is completely loaded and, and handled syntax highlighting-wise do we actually get to see the content. Now, if we were opening this file so that we wanted to be able to edit the contents of it, it may or may not matter to us that this thing is actually syntax highlighted, but we're forced to wait this period of time. Now let's jump over to Sublime Text 4 and open the exact same file. And what we see is this file opens blazingly fast by comparison, but it's not syntax highlighted. It's still plain text. And that's because as a performance enhancement in Sublime Text 4, there's a th size threshold and any file that exceeds that threshold won't have syntax highlighting applied for it when it's initially opened, allowing you to get on with your work faster. As of the time I'm recording this, that size threshold is hard coded at four megabytes, but the developers are currently working to make that a configurable item. So depending on when you watch this, there's probably a new setting in the preferences that controls this particular threshold. However, we're still free to use any of the other means we would normally have to tell Sublime what type of file this is, such as using the items from the view menu or via using the command palette, which is what I'm doing here. And we can still get syntax highlighting for this file if we would like it to. And that tells us that it's actually possible to resolve this particular problem with a plugin if we want to be able to do that. Now remember, depending on when you're watching this, this plugin may not be necessary for you. But we have it right here. You don't have to 
transcribe this. There's a link down in the description along with a link to a video that you might want to watch if you're unsure of how to put a plugin in place in Sublime Text 4. And very simplistically, all this plugin does is wait for a file to be loaded and then if it happens to be a file that's over 4 megabytes in size and also is plain text, we ask Sublime to please tell us what type of file this is supposed to be and apply the syntax highlighting automatically. And with this particular plugin in place, if we reopen that exact file that we had before, then we we get the file opening and it's also syntax highlighted. So we're able to get our cake and eat it too. What I really love about how Sublime Text 4 handles this is that in Sublime Text 3, we would have been forced to wait for the syntax highlighting even if we didn't care. Now we have the option. Just another example of how Sublime allows us to modify its behavior so that we can work the way that we want to work and not the way it wants us to work. And that's all I have for this particular video. If you found it useful, please use those buttons down below to thumb subscribe and share as you deem appropriate. The heat wave in my part of the world will hopefully be done soon and so regular content will start arriving again. Until then, this this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.